I found this lady's video and I'm going to share it. I ain't got a pot to piss in, but I'm from Katy's, Kentucky. Down there on the tip where the water is and this hurricane situation going on just brings the memories of the stories my grandparents told me about Golden Pond, Kentucky. My family lived there. They were pushed out of there. JFK signed a bill and land grabbed Golden Pond. They wanted the land. So they pushed all the people out. More people didn't have anywhere to go. So they had to stay home. My grandparents told me that when the water had went down a little bit, it was just like Helene. The flooding and it was just like Helene. Kentucky on the hill I was raised on, there are still gullies so big that you got to crawl. Uh, we used to play in the gullies. But the water come, it's such a force, it split the land, split it. It's craziest shit I've ever seen. And they said that after that water went down, they were able to go down there a little bit and they saw people starve to death and dead on their roofs. They were pulling the bodies from the roofs because people had nowhere to go and they had to get up on that roof to save themselves and they starved to death back home we do graveyard cleanings <clears throat> it's your family you know they get all of them get together and they have dinner and all that stuff and uh, there was an unmarked grave I was a little baby not a little baby but I was younger and it was unmarked and I didn't understand why it wasn't marked so I had went to my mamma Lola Lane and I asked her about that unmarked gravestone and she said when they flooded them out a mama had given birth during the stuff and it put her newborn baby in a mason jar. And that baby washed up on that beach right there at the graveyard. And they found the baby there in a mason jar and they buried her. I wanna say now they've given her a name and put some stuff on a tombstone for her, but years ago it was just unmarked. But that story about that baby in that mason jar did something to my soul when I was a little kid. And I've always been in the Golden Pond, just wanting to know about it, wanting to hear stories about it. I was so mesmerized at how a president could do that to human beings. Whenever they flooded that water and they made the Kentucky Dam, it split that land the water did split it and that land in between is Katie's Kentucky um, Hopkinsville's around it and they call it the land between the lakes there are like campgrounds you got Prize Point Marina LBL the lodge people go and stay they go fishing it's a big building they keep um, animals they have like a little animal center inside the lodge you can have dinner and you can eat over the water. It's the most beautiful thing you'll ever see. The lodge, they have uh, like a place where you can go swim and play tennis and the, the, the woods, the mountains, it's the most beautiful thing you'll ever see. And they have the animal place. That's closer to Aurora but you can go and see all the animals. It's a beautiful, the wildlife center. Oh, it is so beautiful. And this has just made me think about that. Not a lot of people know about it. It was a long time ago. Most of the time, if you ain't from a town, you ain't gonna know the history of it. But it was a land grab. Them flood and golden pond was a land grab and they got the land because the president signed for it. The TVA, that's who took it over, and they built the dam. There's a whole lot of it in between, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go off what my grandparents told me happened before I go off what the damn internet tells me. My mama still got the book. They made a book, A History of Golden Pond, and my mama still got it. 
she takes real good care of it. She treats that thing almost like the Bible. But it, it just seeing. Sometimes when you're from places, you don't, you don't think that there's anywhere else in the world could be as pretty as where you're raised. I was raised on top of Siloam Hill my whole life. My family still owns it. My grandparents saw them loggers come in and they said, mm-mm, and they bought all of it. And I never thought there could be somewhere as pretty until this happened. And watching them mules and them horses walking through them trees. I even messaged my mom. I said, Mom, I never thought there'd be anywhere pretty as where we're from until I saw them mules walking through them hills. And to think that these some bitches wanted their land and just drowned them out. A lot of people don't understand the weather and y'all think that hurricane came in and did all that. The dam broke. That's what happened. That's why them people were eating dinner. Sorry. That's why them people was eating dinner and a wall of water and trees flip, come, come and took them out. That wall, that big wall of water and debris was because the dam broke because the hurricane had hit it and you know, that water coming, the dam couldn't handle it. But y'all ain't gonna tell me that if y'all go look at that dam and investigate, y'all won't see stuff left behind because of somebody tampering with it. Ain't a damn so. Because the second dam that it went through, she held up like a bitch. She held up like a bitch. She held that water back. She had a little bit of access on the side around, but she held up. Y'all need to be down there investigating. Y'all need to get on your four-wheelers and your horses. You need to go to that dam, and you need to investigate it now. Because the second them some bitches get down there and they're able to remove shit, you'll never have the proof. You'll never have the proof. And for the people who are wanting to help and you're kind of twiddling your fingers, y'all need to load up and go help the people who are still at home. Because the second the government gets through them trees, they're going to be taking people's property. And people are going to need help. They're going to need help fighting for their land. Mm -hmm. So if anybody wants to help, y'all need to get a list of the people who are stuck at home. And y'all need to load up everything you got. And you need to go stay with them people. Because they're not going to be able to fight for their land by themselves. They're not. It's awful. It, I, I have never felt so helpless in my life. This has made me feel helpless. It is gut-wrenching to see. It's absolutely gut-wrenching to witness.